Okay, so what you're seeing in this experiment here has got to do with what they call open shortest path first. So if you have two wires like that, then the current's going to jump in between that, right? If you have two wires, say here, and you're in between, then you're going to form technically <coughs> part of that circuit. Now, you have to be grounded for, to, for the electrocution to take place, I guess, but um, I could not believe I did this. Um, I did it and I did it successfully. Um, I had the tools to do some measuring and all that sort of stuff. I highly recommend you do not do this at home. I mean, this guy did it with 110 volts. I doubled it and went to 220 volts. And I was successful, but I wouldn't do it again. You know, and I did have thongs on. So I made sure I took some safety precautions. So keep watching and it bewildered me. You know, it really did. I couldn't believe I did it. Strangers in the night. Da, 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 da. Okay, so here we are filling a bowl, glass Pyrex bowl, with some aqua, some water. Oh no, what are we going to be doing today? Okay. Hey. Oh no. Okay, let's get some stuff ready. Uh, okay, so for today's curiosity experiment, we have the multimeter. We have a light bulb. And also, uh, an extension lead, it's not very long, that I've ripped up. And we have this, uh, I'll try and turn it around so you can see that it is plugged in, because I found that making videos like this is always sort of, uh, you know, you get the people who try to debunk things and all that sort of stuff. So, okay. We have power, okay? Now, we better get the voltmeter out, I guess, and uh, see what we can test on this as a voltage going through the water. It is AC, so let's just, okay, so there's the multimeter. Now grab the leads, and I'll put them in, and it should be about 5 volts, okay, just like so. So, with this being live, I must say that I do have rubber thongs on, okay, necessary, maybe, I don't know. But when you think about it, the reason for electrocution in any condition really, not just in water, is um, Okay, so there's the multimeter. Uh, okay, as you can see, let's try and get some voltage happening. Mm. And it should be about 6 volts, 5 volts, 6 volts. Okay, not enough to tickle your fancy. So, having said that, I do have a live connection in the... We'll just check the resistance once again, sorry, before we go any further. I just want to clarify one thing. 
So the resistance of the water Okay, is about 600 and oh, we'll call it 600 right and going down all right the one in my fingers or skin I should say we got the same we've got about as much resistance a human has a being has about as much resistance as water so <clears throat> having said that now I do have to be careful because we do have live electricity here we got power simple as that now technically technically I should be able to drop my finger in this water now as you can see everything's still plugged in no trickery here all plugged in blah 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 so I would never have done this before but here's my finger I know there's five volts in there so look at that now I'm not gonna go near those wires but that is 240 volts into water with my finger in it I would never ever have believed you could do that to prove it again Prove it again. I've got to get these wires closer. This time, I'm not going to unplug anything. Just leaving them in the water. And we blew the globe. Because the circuitry that's inside here went in the water. It's not a normal light globe. Okay, but this is still live wire as it is here. Now, I knew that would happen because it's not a conventional globe but that is amazing and just to show you that the water does have voltage running through it I will select AC like so six volts if I get closer it should raise nine volts finger in once again so finger in once again there's 240 volts of live electricity running in this water. That has amazed me. Really, really amazed me. Now we're running 240 volts down here in Australia. This guy here, he runs 110. And it's, it's, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. And to show you, I'm not gonna turn the video off, but I have gotta get another light glow. I had to steal the one out of my wife's bedside table. Now I'm not going to edit this video, it can be as long as it want, just to prove a point. Okay, so here it is, finger in water, okay, 240 volt running in, there'll be no editing on this, okay, all I'm doing is putting the light globe down here, okay, pull this out light globe and there you go in the water like so I would never ever have believed it thanks for watching